liberal media pundits melting down in spectacular fashion over the stunning upset in Virginia and blaming Democrat losses on Americans being racist. <laughs> Some of it was uh, ra dog whistle racism. A thousand percent. But it's essentially white identity politics. That works for Republicans. Education, right. which is code for white parents don't like the idea of teaching right. about race. The, the real ominous thing is that critical race theory, which isn't real, turned the suburbs 15 points to the Trump insurrection endorsed Republican. The Delta variant of Trumpism. In other words, Yunkin, uh, same disease, but spreads a lot faster and can get a lot more places. While the media is calling voters racist, what they aren't mentioning is Republican Winsome Sears winning in Virginia's lieutenant governor's race, the first woman of color to win that particular office in the state's history. All right, Jesse, I'm going to start with you. Okay, I just heard that quote from Nicole Wallace. I think the real ominous thing is that critical race theory, which isn't real, turned the suburbs 15 points to Trump insurrection endorsed Republican. What are they talking about? Well, Judge, as a journalist, <laughs> we hunted down the curriculum on the Internet and the receipts they paid to consultants. And when I say we, I mean my assistant did. So she should be able to do the same. This is an analogy. Permission? Yes, granted. Maybe the guys would understand this more than the women. Uh-oh. You know oh, oh, is this about arousal no, no, again? No. No, Geraldo, you <laughs> sicko. That's what Greg said. You know when you go out drinking with a buddy, and then you come back from the bar, you look in the mirror to check yourself out, and you realize your fly's down? Ooh. And you think to yourself, why didn't my buddy tell me my fly was down? Maybe he wasn't. He's not a good friend, right? And that is the relationship the media has with the Democrats. If the right. media really... Ah. One of the Democrats to do well, they say, hey, hey Democrats, you might want to <laughs> fix that CRT thing. It's causing a little issue. But they don't do that. Now, do I want the media to wake the Democrats up to this woke disaster? No. Donald Trump said it. Everything woke turns to what, Judge? I won't let you finish that. Okay, the family I show. won't let you finish that. So it here's what's going to happen now. These pundits that are getting paid millions of dollars, they're saying this is about race. Well, how could it be? This is a Virginia state that voted for Barack Obama twice. Youngkin won Hispanics 55 percent. He won whites 60 percent. He doubled Trump's numbers with black women. That is what they call a rainbow coalition. This wasn't a base election. This isn't a blue state that he won independence by almost 10. Terry didn't listen to the women. Terry called the women, the moms, domestic terrorists and racists. Now, even right. I know, Judge, you don't talk to women like that. You listen to women like Yunkin did, who told him that they didn't want racism taught in the classroom, and that's why he capitalized on that. All Barack right. Obama told women, no, your feelings don't count. They're phony. And then Terry McAuliffe told women, you know, doesn't matter what they're injecting into your child's brains. You don't have anything to do with that. All right. That's what happened, and that's why this backlash is happening. And if the media keeps just not telling the Democrats what's really going on, there's going to be bloodbath after bloodbath. Thank you for the zipper You're analogy. You're welcome. So I will go right to you, Dana. All right. Winsome Sears. Mm -hmm. She has made history. Mm -hmm. An African-American lieutenant governor, a heartbeat away from the governor in the Commonwealth of Virginia, she resists the CRT and that whole progressive doctrine. I mean, she's she's amazing, and she has an incredible name. Uh, she will be. It's one that you will definitely remember. So it'll be fun to watch her career. I'm going to defend the media, uh, some in the media, for a moment. They did try to tell them. Do you remember that viral video when Terry McAuliffe shut down the reporter and, and he took off his microphone and said, "I'm done." Well, the reason is because the reporter was asking about education in schools, mm -hmm. and Terry McAuliffe said, um, "Why don't you ask about things that Virginians really care, care about? about?" They tried to warn him. Julie Weil of the Washington Post. She went out. She talked to actual. People. And there was an African American dad that she interviewed who said, I started homeschooling because I didn't like the assignments that were coming home. A Hispanic mother who said, I'm worried that this race curriculum is going to lead to my child being bullied. So it, it, to me, they just had the blinders on and they wanted to believe that President Trump and, and antagonism towards him was going to deliver them to a win. And that obviously didn't happen. Okay. Geraldo, kind of a rainbow coalition across the country from New York, New Jersey, Texas, Seattle. Uh, don't overstate it, though, Judge. Oh, no. <laughs> I, 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 Geraldo I just told it. somebody I not to not overstate it. Overstate, yeah. Your career no, yeah, is overstating. I, I, I think it's. <laughs>
the commentators, like Democrats generally, are whiny, they're annoying. Uh, uh, they, when you, I watched, you know, I, I hate, hate watches, is that what Jesse yeah. calls it? Uh, I, CNN, MSNBC, I watched everybody with the sound off. And the Democrat, I mean, the, uh, the other networks were so gloomy. They were so depressed. They had big frowns, and even everything looked blue and black and, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, very, very depressed. It was, they, they, this is not that big a deal. In my town, in Cleveland, the young progressive beat uh, the, the old line Democrat in the runoff for the Cleveland mayor. Uh, and the issue 24, which would uh, basically defund cops and create a civilian review board, uh, passed overwhelmingly despite the opposition for me and my radio show and, uh, and other people who are, are more in the middle or, or to the right. So my point is that this is not the great tidal wave but and these Geraldo, media people are overstating Geraldo, what, happened what happened in Buffalo. The write-in beat the socialist. But the write-in beat the socialist. That's my point. But the guy who the write-in guy was a middle-of-the-road guy. He wasn't a right wing. Geraldo, guy. they rejected to fund the jump. police. Yeah. They did Long they Island did Republicans that. swept Austin, uh, Austin, Austin, Nassau Day. County. Austin, Nassau. Austin, Come on, Texas. Geraldo. Austin, Texas. They had a proposition to increase the police force. It was defeated. That's oh, one kooky that, yeah. proposition, that is Geraldo. Okay, I'm talking me, New Jersey. You know what, Greg? I Look want you to settle this whole thing. All right, I got a few comments. Number one, Nicole Wallace says CRT doesn't exist, but WMD did. Ooh. Uh, she's ignorant and lazy. The data was there. Uh, Chris Rufo did a tremendous job. Brianna Keeler, she went from eating crickets to eating crow. If she keeps at it, she'll be chowing down desiccated rodents. Uh, what's her name? Kirsten Powers was on there. She just, she's putting out a book about grace, about how to treat people better while she brands a million people is racist because of the way they vote? How can you speak of grace when you smear so many people? God isn't pleased with you, Kirsten. God is not pleased. They're all racist, right? Brianna, Nicole, Kirsten, Joy Reid, because they ignored Sears, the first black woman, the first woman of color to win a statewide election in Virginia. Be why? Because she dared to leave the, p the plantation of ideology that these white women and Joy Reid believe she should stay on. They are the racist. But I have to give props to one person. There was one person in the media. Thank you. Over what? No, you're close. You're close. One person in the media. Oh, it me? Yeah, it might be you. <laughs> you're close. There's one person in the media that 10 days ago, predicted the outcome of this race for a very specific reason, and I believe we have tape. <laughs> Can I make a prediction? Yeah. I think the Republican is going to win in Virginia, and do you want to know why? Why? His name is Young Kin, and it's about... Young Kin. Young Kin, huh? I like it. I love it. Wow, that's I exactly like why he's going to That's why he's going to win. A bold prediction. <laughs> Yes. What a way to wrap up the segment. I know. Greg, thank <laughs> you. But you didn't bet Geraldo, did you? No, no, no. Shooter. I'm very, uh, I'm All very right. careful with my money. Coming up. <laughs> Wait, big time one backlash. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, one thing, one thing. We're in the middle of a tease for the next <laughs> what's, segment. What's Sears with that machine gun? Why is she carrying a machine gun? Who? Why not? She's a veteran. The lieutenant She's governor. a Marine. It's not a machine gun. <laughs> it's it's not a machine gun. Come on, why don't you fire it in the air? What is this? Yeah, well, we don't know what it was, but Sorry, coming I didn't up. Need to... Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.